Hi, I'm Laura Bushy, Certified Health Educator and Personal Holistic Chef, and today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to make a delicious variation to the traditional almond milk. What we need today to make the recipe, we need one cup of raw almonds, one cup of raw Brazil nuts, one date, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one tablespoon of agave, and 48 ounces of water. So why would we put, use Brazil nuts in a recipe that states that it's almond milk? One reason is that Brazil nuts are very creamy, but they also have a key nutritional component, and that is they contain selenium and the antioxidant vitamin E. Selenium plays a role in metabolism and the healthy production of thyroid hormones, so that's very necessary for our diet. And just two Brazil nuts a day would accomplish that. But we are, since we're not chewing the Brazil nuts today and we're putting them into our almond milk, we're using um, a lot more. And vitamin E protects the skin from harmful free radicals. Almonds also have a nutritional benefit and they provide calcium and phosphorus for strong bones, promotes weight loss, and cuts cholesterol. Almonds also contain more magnesium than spinach, but don't skimp on eating your spinach and it also contains high amounts of vitamin E. One variation if you wanted to is you can add three figs to this before you blend into your almond milk. But today I've just chosen not to include that in. We'll try and keep it fairly simple, but this is one of my favorite. It tastes a little bit like a, a shake. And we just need to add one of the teaspoons of vanilla extract and we'll put this on the blender. After we blend our nut milk, we wouldn't consume it blended. What we would do is we're going to strain our nut milk through actually a nut milk bag. And what is a nut milk bag? It basically is a specifically shaped fabric bag used to strain your blended raw nut milks through to remove any pulp or fiber that remain in it. There are various shapes, various sizes. Um, it doesn't really matter what brand or kind that you get. Sometimes if you, the seams will um, start to let uh, open if you use it too many times, but they're relatively inexpensive. You can find them anywhere from $5 to $25. So I'm going to demonstrate to you how to strain the nut milk after we finish blending. While grabbing a carton of almond milk is easy and convenient, many, if not all of the milk alternatives on the grocery store shelves contain stabilizers that prevent separation during storage. Stabilizers are a no-no in my book as they can cause problems in the gut. For more information about stabilizers, check out the food facts section on my blog at Kitchen of Life. Back to the how-to. After blending, pour half the liquid into the nut mat bag and squeeze like you're milking the real thing. Squeeze until damp dry. What to do with the pulp that's left over? You can either heat in the oven on low until dry or dehydrate on a Teflex sheet in a dehydrator to keep raw. The end result is a gluten-free alternative to traditional flour. You may need to pour a second batch of milk into your nut bag. If so, just repeat the steps above. Take the bowl you use to hold your almond milk. Grab a glass container or pitcher like I have here Use a funnel and pour your nut milk in for storage. Looks like an old fashioned milk jug to me. Your nut milk is good for three days in the refrigerator, but I'm not so sure it'll even last that long. It's too good to resist. So this is it, this is the almond milk. You can put it in smoothies, but why would you? Because it tastes fabulous as is. Oh my God, that's so good. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you learned how to make homemade almond milk. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel at Kitchen of Life. Check us out on the web for more recipes and tips at kitchenoflife.com. And don't forget to like us on Facebook. See you next time.